Hello YouTubers, this is Liza Lovelisa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're back on track again to do another review of the new release mid-range phone of Huawei, which is the P20 Lite. Now let's dig in more about its features, its specification, and of course its price. And of course, let's see if this is really worth the value of money. Let's check this out. My first impression about P20 Lite is awesome, because in its first glance, it's undeniable that this phone looks more of like iPhone 10. And I was even more impressed when I learned about its specifications and other features. So here come to see this phone's elegant design and screen display. P20 Lite is built with front glass, aluminum frame, and plastic back cover. It has 5.84 inch screen display, and as you can see, the screen view is wider and less bezel. This phone measured 7.4 millimeter thickness and weighed 45 grams. This unit's available colors are black, blue, and pink. P20 Lite has FHD plus 2280 by 1080p. It also has a 19 by 9 aspect ratio, and as you can see, it has a good viewing angle and its finest resolution. Now let's talk about its OS and other features. P20 Lite software is EMUI 8 based on Android 8 Oreo, powered by high silicon Kareem 659 octa-core processor with 4 GB of RAM. This phone comes with 64GB of storage, expandable up to 256GB via microSD. Next is the cellular. P20 Lite has dual SIM spot nano SIM, 4G LDA connection. And with its connectivity, it has Wi-Fi, NFC, Bluetooth, GPS, USB OTG, USB Type-C. This phone has face recognition and fingerprint sensor. It also has proximity sensor and ambient light sensor. And when it comes to P20 Lite battery, it has 3000 mAh non-removable battery with Huawei Quick Charge 2, so it'll take more or less 2 hours of charging, not bad. Battery lifespan can be up to 7 to 8 hours or more if moderate usage. Now here comes the most awaited part, its camera performance. P20 Lite consists with dual rear cameras. The first one, which is the main shooter, has 16 megapixel, while the secondary camera has only 2 megapixel. It also contains plenty of camera features such as Pro Mode, HDR, Night Mode, Panorama, Light Painting, Moving Picture, Time Lapse, and Slow Motion, and a lot more. Now, in front-facing camera on the other hand has also 16 megapixel camera, which is really good enough for taking good selfies. Here you can see a few sample of indoor and outdoor photos and videos of front and rear camera performance. Rear camera performance is really nice. It has fiber shots, very detailed and clear. The autofocus is fast and the camera can take photos quickly. However, it has no video stabilization. The video performance can reach up to 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. I like the vibrance, the sharpness, and the clarity of the objects while filming. The front camera selfies on the other hand is also nice and detailed. However, if you notice the images captured looks a bit unnatural, it seems like it has already skin enhancer to make it look prettier than the actual skin color. Good thing about it is that you don't need any filter to enhance your photos more to look lively and beautiful. Now let's go for the gaming test. You can actually play different games with this phone as long as the graphics turn down to low to mid to avoid lagging, so it is not designed for heavy gaming setting. P20 Lite's price is only worth 15990 not bad enough for its premium design, great performance, and of course the camera. So far, I only found two disadvantages in this phone, and that is no video stabilization, and this phone I think is not good for heavy gaming. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching my review of P20 Lite. So what can you say about this phone? Is this really worth the value of money? If you do have comment, you can just leave it down below. So that's all, thank you so much again. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And see you again till my next reviews. Bye!